time all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Hi everybody, welcome back to the All Things Good channel. It's Vlogmas. Day 16, it's Saturday. How are you today? Good morning. Well, it won't be morning when you watch this, but it's still morning at the moment. It's 11 o'clock. I'm not long out of the shower. As you can tell, I need to get myself organised. I'm taking Nancy out today. Um, last night, I actually made a chocolate cake. It was one of Nigel Slater's out of the Christmas Chronicles cookbook. Um, and I let the invisible chef have a little bit of an evening off. So I decided to make a, I think it's called a dark chocolate spice cake, but I'm going to show you that. And I then left it overnight because it's got chocolate on the top, which had to harden, which only takes a couple of hours, but I've actually left it overnight and finished it off this morning. So I'm going to show you how I did that last night and then how it got finished this morning. And I'm really happy with it and it smells amazing so i'm looking forward to showing you that i've got to go out and do some bits and pieces today and um yeah there's not there's not a tremendous amount on the schedule today but i do have to go and do some things i've got quite a busy weekend all in all so i'm hoping to cram it all in and show you as much as possible and then on monday i'm actually going into hospital so i will try and vlog tomorrow and everything from tomorrow will probably go in on monday for you but we'll see how it all goes anyway back to today more importantly the sun is shining which is the first in weeks i think we're going to have a lovely day so i'm going to go and get myself sorted organized hair dried ready for the day i'll leave you with today's video and i'll catch up with you in a bit and i hope you enjoy it Well, it's certainly starting to get a bit busier in the shops and I'm trying to keep Nancy out of them now for the next few days because she's finding it a little bit overwhelming. But we did have a little trip to Tesco's. I picked up a couple of little bits. It's lovely to see they're doing these candles again and in red this year as well. And Nancy also had a lovely time. And you may remember this Christmas bed linen I ordered some weeks ago. Well, it's finally made its way onto the bed. So we're proper feeling cosy and festive all through the house. Oh, there's Albert Cat. So my boy Adam is coming home tonight from university. I haven't seen him for ages. Got his bedroom ready or clean and tidy for him. Just made a few little festive additions. We've got a little light up Christmas tree here that used to belong to my sister and Adam loves it he has it in his room every year and we've got um, some candles here these are just battery operated ones got him a Yankee candle that he'll probably put on at some point and everything is lovely and clean and ready for him to be home for Christmas I can't wait and clearly neither can Albert. Albert will sleep with him every night now once he knows he's home. So sweet. So I decided to have a go at a Nigel Slater recipe from the Christmas Chronicles. And this is a dark chocolate spice cake that you are meant to offer to Krampus. Krampusnacht is the feast of the legendary Krampus, 
a Santa Claus for naughty children. He is thoroughly menacing, part goat, part demon, hairy, with huge curling horns, a long tail and a terrifying tongue. Long a figure of folklore in many parts of Europe, rather than bringing gifts to good children, he punishes those who have misbehaved during the previous year. Should Krumpus turn up at your home tonight, and I sincerely hope he doesn't, for he's very, very scary, it's best to offer him some schnapps and perhaps a piece of cake. And this delicious Christmas spice cake just might do the trick. Now the actual recipe for this makes 12 little cakes, but I have this silicon Christmas cake mold shape, so I wanted to make one big Christmas cake. And I've done a slight adaption to this because there was a couple of ingredients I couldn't get. But in essence, you need some ground cinnamon, some ground ginger, some ground mace, which I couldn't get, some self-raising flour, dark chocolate, marzipan, dates, which you need to stone, golden syrup, butter, dark muscovado sugar, some crystallized stem ginger, some candied orange peel, again, I couldn't get, but I've done a variation, some large eggs, some milk, and to finish, you need some dark chocolate, and preserved ginger in syrup I couldn't get, so I've done a variation. However, the invisible chef took a little bit involved and helped me chop up the dates. Well, I had a little dance. Well, it is Christmas after all. I will link the method for this in the description box down below, but I'll let you see what I did and how I made a variation on the candied orange peel, which instead I did more of a candied ginger syrup, but you'll see that in a bit. So now that's all ready to go into the oven and I put this in for about 40 to 45 minutes and while that was cooking I made the dark chocolate topping so I just melted the dark chocolate in a glass bowl over a saucepan of boiling water. Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah Look where we were small And then instead of the candied orange peel topping, I actually used some more of the stem ginger crystals, put it in a little bowl with some boiling water and some golden syrup, let it cool down for a bit so it was nice and sticky, and then just applied it to the top. So this is going to have a lovely spicy gingery taste. Just 
just needs to be left for a couple of hours or as I did overnight and then this morning I've just added a little bit of icing sugar as snow and it's ready to eat and it looks and smells delicious. Oh, it's been another busy day. Have you had a nice Saturday, everybody? I hope you have. I'm just having a little chill in the lounge. Guess where the invisible chef is? In the kitchen. He's cooking me my dinner. So sweet, so sweet and so helpful. Absolutely wonderful. Bless him. Right, it's day 16 and we need to open the advent calendar. Here we go. Oh, day 16. It's a charm for the charm bracelet. Oh my God. This really will be the fullest charm bracelet in the world. And today we have, it's silver again. Oh, and it's actually got a star on it. Can you see? Just about, there you go. It's a star charm, a star charm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And not long till I'm wearing it. Not long at all. This time next week, it's the weekend of, well, the weekend before Christmas. It's practically Christmas, isn't it? Wow. I think I've done presents. I think I'm there with the presents. I'm just waiting for Adam to come home tonight. The train was a bit delayed, so it's going to be tonight that he comes home. But I'm super looking forward to seeing him very, very shortly, hopefully. And... Um, yeah, it's starting to really feel really festive, especially now I've finished work. Thank the Lord. Um, it's starting to feel really, really festive. So I will keep you updated next week. I've got to go for my little operation. So I'm not sure how that's going to go with Vlogmas at the moment. I will take you with me as much as I can. Um, we'll just have to see how it all pans out post up and whether I'm able to talk and be with you I'm hoping I will and if not I'll have to get a stand in um but we'll work something out I'm sure anyway I hope you have enjoyed today's vlogmas day 16 I can't believe how quick this is going I really can't and I hope you can join me tomorrow for vlogmas day 17 and until then stay safe stay in the boat and keep doing all things good I shall see you tomorrow take care bye